Right, so this is Krager's latest backpack. It's called the Trail 18. The 18 being an 18 litre capacity. It also comes in a 9 litre capacity as well. It comes in black, it comes in orange, and it comes in lime. So we're going to have a good look inside the bag and then we're going to take it outside and just test to see how waterproof this thing is. Let's have a look. Alright, so let's have a good look around this backpack. The first thing you'll notice is this webbing that they've attached to the back. Um, basically, you can put your wet stuff in there. Say for example, you've got a wet pair of gloves and you want to keep riding, you've got a spare pair. Put your wet gloves in there and as you ride, the air will get to it and dry them off. If you put wet gloves inside a bag, especially a waterproof bag, no air is going to get to it and they're going to go a bit stinky and mouldy. So let's flip it over. We've got these lovely gel strips along the back there, really soft and comfortable, nice and thick. And you've got these big ridges along the back to help with the airflow, so that's very nice. This is Krieger's chest harness system. You've sh I'm no doubt you've seen that before. Works a treat, and also you probably wouldn't have known it's got some movement to it, so it's not a uh, it's not as restrictive and as and as stiff as it sort of looks. It's actually a really nice, comfortable system. One finger un undo, no problem at all. We've got reflective strips on the front of the straps, one there, one on there. And you'll notice on these straps, you've got these dots, one, two, and three. These are basically to tell you what chest size you're gonna set it at. One being small, two being medium, three being large. I've got mine at large, I think I'm a 46 inch chest. So it's a really good idea, but also another thing, is you know sometimes when you put a backpack on and you can't tell if one strap is longer than the other and you're adjusting each one to try and make it feel right well this is an instant visual indication that both straps are at exactly the same length so at the top you've got a nice thick rubberized strap there this is the drawstring for the webbing at the front so let's open up the front main compartment two buckles either side Roll top dry bag, nice and deep. No extra pockets or anything inside there. It's just a big dry bag to chuck all your stuff in. So that's nice and that, that does up real easy. Just two turns, buckle on the side, buckle on the other side. Simple. All right, let's have a look in the back compartment open this one up let's see what we got the zip opens all the way pretty much down to the bottom only opens halfway on the other side you have space at the back here for a hydration pack it comes in a 2 litre or 3.75 litre option those are your straps for it there and on the other side this is where the smaller dry bag is so it's a nice little one there ideal for phones like an iPad mini you could throw in there, all your electrical cables, anything you don't want to get wet thrown in there. And on the front of that particular dry bag is another little zip pocket. And at the bottom of this main compartment are two other pockets down there. Okay, so another thing I need to mention is these YKK heavy duty zips. They really are chunky, got a nice pull string on them there as well. So to adjust the bag, you just pull or loosen off the straps at the top there. That adjusts the shoulder ones. And to adjust, adjust the chest harness, you've got these uh, straps that you pull or loosen off there. And also the waist harness you can adjust as well. Okay, so let's do this waterproof test to see how good this thing is. Now what I'm going to do is, I rode in today with my leather jacket on and I had a fleece underneath. I'm gonna use this fleece, I'm gonna chuck it into the front dry bag compartment. And if this thing lets in water, I've got to wear a wet jacket on the way home. So I am putting my faith in their product. Okay, that's in there and in, in the smaller, um, dry bag on in, in the back I'm gonna put some tissue actually I'm not I'm gonna put my phone in there let's 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 really let's up the ante right let's soak this 
jacket first careful carefully undo it it's looking good so far that is bone dry bone dry yep excellent Check the inside of the pack. Yeah, bone dry. No water in there. Okay, that is 100% waterproof. Let's check. Make sure my phone's okay. I'll just dry my hand off first. Perfect, 100% dry. Now, see, like I said, this compartment isn't dry. So, just bear that in mind. See, now, like I said earlier, the dry bag compartments, they're the ones that are saying they are completely waterproof. But the, this bit at the back where the hydro pack would be is not waterproof. So the water's got in there, obviously. All right, there you go. I'm dripping water everywhere. So, fantastic. Hopefully you got something from that. The dry compartments are 100% waterproof. No problems there whatsoever. Um, yeah, great looking backpack. Uh, like I said, it comes in a smaller capacity version and it also comes in orange and lime. And I, both, I think they both look really, really nice. Okay, guys, that is it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Soaking wet, look. So one of the things, there's two things you'll probably notice straight away as soon as you put this bag on is the first one when it's brand new is just how uh, sort of stiff and starchy it is you know like if you get a new pair of shoes or a new like leather jacket it takes a while for it to kind of break down a bit and, and, uh, and go a bit supple which this has done after just two days of riding it back and from work it's kind of softened up a bit now so that's good uh, which is kind of testament to how good quality the fabric is you know just how sort of stiff it is um, the second thing you will notice is basically the Krieger backpack system this chest harness is designed to take the weight off your shoulders especially when you're carrying a heavy load and you're going you know you're doing motorway speeds a regular backpack you can really feel it on your shoulders but with this all the weight is dispersed across your chest and your shoulders 
so it takes all the weight off so at the moment in this bag I've got uh, a tripod I've got a jumper and a pair of shoes and I can't feel the weight of it at all it is just all all over my chest and my arms and I can't feel it it feels great very very comfortable and it feels very very secure very sort of snug and, and tight against the body um, so yeah it's really really nice very comfortable one thing I would definitely do though is I would once you get it adjust it with a jacket on obviously because that's how you're going to be wearing it but also try and adjust it to your seating position because I noticed when I first got this bag I put it on with my jacket on just standing up in the garage uh, but when I got onto the bike it felt a little bit tighter around the shoulders so I had to adjust it a little bit further so just um, just bear that in mind obviously I'll tell you what it feels like you know you see those pictures of koala bears clinging onto a tree well it feels like you've got a koala bear clinging onto your back <laughs> it's very very comfortable indeed 